YouTube. Today I will be reviewing my SH Monsters Destroyer Evolution set, 1995. Of course, there's none, no other Destroyer Evolution set. Anyway, so um, let's start with the, the usual box art. And the reason I'm doing this on my accessory table is because um, this thing is way. These things are way too small for me to actually do on the ground where I usually do my reviews. So let me just fix the camera here. All right, let's start with box. So first front, we have um, we have the flying destroyer. Um, this um, uh, second destroyer that was appeared in the movie, the second one. Uh, another second one, another second one, and then here's the first one where they try to recreate the scene where um, it was uh, the aggregate destroyer was gonna bite uh, Godzilla Junior in the neck or in the stomach. So we have SH Monsters, you know, the logo, and if I bring this closely, we have a new 2013 sticker, which has Godzilla 1962, one of my favorite Godzillas. Destroyer, I don't know why it has the Destroyer sticker, sticker, so yeah, it has a Destroyer sticker, which is weird. Destroyer Evolution Set, 1995, and then Bandai. Uh, Time Machine Nation's Bandai is some Japanese thing. Here on the side, we have, um, the second Destroyer, uh, the first Destroyer that appeared in the film, uh, this aggregate one, aggregate, and in the background, instead of having a chest, we have the bottom part of Flying Destroyer. So on the top there's SH Monsters, uh, Aggregate Destroyer, and then on the bottom Destroyer. It's pretty cool. Here on the side we have Destroyer and then SH Monsters. So Destroyer. I love the whole fiery thing and the ashes. Very nice um, thing. Here on the top we have SH Monsters and then Destroyer, and they're in fancy letters. Then there's Destroyer Evolution in 1995 and the first Aggregate Destroyer that appeared in the film. Now on the back we have um, Flying Destroyer. Um, we have Flying Destroyer, uh, the first aggregate destroyer that extends his tongue all the way, and then that uh, picture with Destroyer trying to eat uh, Godzilla or suck his blood, like trying to recreate the scene in the movie. So, um, here is uh, Flying Destroyer, uh, the regular Crab Destroyer, and the uh, the f second second one, and the first one uh, with the short extended tongue. And then we have the movie poster. Uh, Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Let me try to get a close-up of that. So, yeah. Let's get on to the packaging. Now, before we go on to packaging, I just want to say that my web exclusive came inside uh, this box. Now, I think this is where all web exclusives go in. Um, I'm not sure about Godzilla 1964, but uh, maybe. Um, I got this from college on eBay, so you guys should buy from him. He's pretty cheap, and he's awesome. Thanks, college. You're the boss. Now, here is the packaging. Uh, when I first got this, um, actually when I saw it on uh, Toho Kingdom, um, this guy uh, put a link and I clicked it, um, and I saw like all of these pictures of the SD Monster Destroyer Lucia set. I looked at the packaging. Oh, shoot. I looked at the packaging. And I said, "Where's the little extended head that was trying that they're trying to recreate the scene with Godzilla Junior?" Um, and I think you guys are gonna find this interesting. So um, first, let's just do this. Um, so, first we have the uh, secondary one, and then, um, uh, yeah, the first one, uh, the extended tongue, um, the articulated um, tail, a uh, flying destroyer, and uh, the tail. So, let's go, let's get to the figure. Here is the SH Monsters first destroyer from the aggregate set. So, first let's go on to articulation. For articulation, this arm can go, it can move like that. And then you can bend it all the way, and if you grab it by the base, you can actually move it like this. And then, right now my other arm just came off, so let me put that on. Um, yeah, so the head can move not that far up. It can move um, better, like, for going down. Um... Now we have yeah. these claws, and um, they, this one, for the bottom, it can move um, like that. It can move all the way up and all the way down. So you have a full open range of claw, the claw. And here, instead of being the bottom, which is rock solid, 
you can move it from the top. So it can be like that, or it can be like that. Now, these things can move, like those things at the bottom, but I don't want to move them because for mine, this thing, uh, this one, it always comes off. So yeah. Here at the bottom, um, they can all move. Just let me try to focus my camera really quick. So yeah, each and every one of the three legs can move. So you can move it like forward and back. You know, you can do all that. But I suggest being very careful with this guy because, um, like sometimes they can come off. And you know, you spent you spent at least uh from the price range to eighty to one hundred thirty dollars. So yeah, you gotta be careful. For detail, with him. I love the devil eyebrows that we have right here. How like they're like bent up. It's just very nice. And um, the skin, um, we have those three that kind of um, go down, and they get as as they go down his forehead, they get smaller and smaller until they reach at least uh, where the human nose should be. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. And I like the orange eyes; that's just amazing. Uh, but for here, uh, we also have um, on the top like a red, and then a lot of black in the middle and silver at the bottom, which on the um. Uh, original Bandai figure for the short. I'm pretty sure. I think it was used for a movie. I don't know. But, um, I heard that from some guy on YouTube. But, um, it was actually too, a little, not that much silver on it. So, also, I like here, um, how it's, his mouth is open. It's just gonna go out. So, yeah, very nice. So, here in the chest, we have sort of the forming, uh, or the development of the chest. For in the movie, in the deleted scene, it uh, uh, destroys chest, actually opened, um, and Godzilla had to punch it. Um, I think that was where the weak, weak spot was, which is stupid to destroy because I don't know why he would open that. Open his freaking weak spot and let Godzilla beat it up. On the Idiots. side, we have these uh, spikes, which I saw. I watched the recent movie uh, while I was uh, last night when I was going to sleep, and it was very it was a very good movie. Um, even though I watched it for like a hundred times, I still love the aggregate destroyers. So, but yeah, this is very nice. The spikes and all the skin detail. SH Monsters has done a Before good job. Before we continue, I forgot to mention that um, this uh, destroyer, it actually has a peg where the tail should be. So, with the accessories, you come with so, a tail. Anyway, as I mentioned, you come with a tail. It's actually um this tail. Um, It's got like all those layers on it. Very nice. I love how, but how many layers they had to do? That's just like tough. That's very tough. But hey, the more the better. And um, how can we forget the um, end? Very nice with shades of black and white. So anyway, we have this place, uh, where you have to insert it, um, or put it in, put the peg inside the circle. Which kind of looks like an olive. So yeah, I'll just plug it in and we'll get anyway, back. Anyway, here's the side view of Destroyer with the tail. And the tail is articulated, as we can see here. As I demonstrate or move it, it can move around in pretty much cool places. So yeah. So here's the first crab that was with the Destroyer Evolution set. Uh, I mean, the second and one. Here it is. It's very nice. Even though it doesn't have that much articulation... It's still good, and you know the, my logo for SH Monster is the more uh, the less articulations means the more detail. So let's just start off with articulation. It doesn't feature much. Um, here the um, arm can basically move like that from the base only, not with uh, the things like these ones. They can't move. I thought mine was like so extremely stiff that it wouldn't move, but it turns out it's not. So yeah, and here instead of having these claws, um, you know, like, uh, clutch, uh, they actually just move down and up. So yeah, pretty neat and pretty. And original. here, the only part that can move is the claw, the middle claw. So yeah, and Very here nice. at the back, uh, these things which I never noticed until I found the set. Can Sorry actually guys, move. my iPad ran out of storage. So anyway, I'm gonna show this you. This comes with the tail. And unlike the other, the first aggregate, this one um, has a peg, so that way it's inserted. So that way you know the difference. So we just insert it, or plug it in, and voila, you have your full aggregate The details set. on this are absolutely amazing. We have them. Let me get my camera a little higher. 
we have a, now unlike the a first aggregate which had a lot of black in the middle this one has very little black a lot of red and um silver so very nice and this one has um two tusks on it um but it's more longer hold on hold on okay so anyway yeah and like we all we obviously have the developing chest area or and finally spot. the flying destroyer now it has a transparent horn just like um destroyer but more of the middle with it and we have transparent eyes Story which I hear not again Anyway, transparent eyes, eyes, I hate it because it's not movie accurate, and I love movie accuracy. So, um, yeah, we have a lot of detail on the um, tusks, and, um, yeah, and we have purple wings. Very nice shades of black um, as it blends in with the purple. Actually, let me, um, yeah, very nice shades of black with the all, purple. All of so, these yeah. details are absolutely amazing, and the spikes are just Amazing. All movie yeah, accurate. for articulation, the head can move left, can move right, it can move up a Okay, lot. we gotta hurry this up. So, yeah, the mouth can open, like, that much, and it can close. The wings can do that. It could go little. This wing can do much more for me, because my, I guess that one's stiff. And so can these this bottom one, which is on a ball joint. And the tail, which can do go up and down, but it's still straight, which is pretty And good. here we have a quick size comparison of what they all look like together. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to bring out Destroy because it's going to get really hard to get them into the pose that I have in my collection. So here it is. So, now, in the yeah. beginning of my review, I said I was looking for the second head uh, that was trying to recreate the scene of Guts Jr. and uh, the first aggregate. Um, I was looking for the head, um, and I told you it was going to be really interesting. Well, Sorry, this is. is scaring you. So, you take off the head, and you have that button. Take a pen, push it, hear the click, voila. And it doesn't go extend that far in the promotion pictures, and does, then and it does the last life. accessory it comes with. The extended tongue, which is a uh, very nice, a lot of detail, uh, even though it's a little crooked. But yeah, this now is that we have destroys extended head, and it's very nice. And yeah, I'm speechless about it. Although I never extended this far in the movie. Hey, but what can we do? Now you guys should really get the set, but if it's at one hundred thirty dollars. Don't get it. Just find the $80 one, like the one Toy Arena is selling. Get it now because you're not going to find a price like that. Um, this I suggest getting it if it's at $83 and something like that because it really completes your set. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. This is Kigan 100 signing out. See ya. Back up!